All right, time for the first round of this uh, mulligan tournament, the group stage. Uh, All right, so here we go. So you get to one time in the match each, we get to call for a mulligan. Basically before the end of your fourth turn, typically, or basically before that second reshuffle, um, you can just say, I don't want this game to count. And it doesn't count and you resign and you start a new game. Hey, looks like a nice board formation. A nice board to not have autoplay for most. Um, really want that sentry. How are we getting it? Are we getting it with a university? Um, I think gear salvager is an okay way to hit five. We'll try that. Uh, see what he's going for here. Okay, goes for gear potion. Um, so here I get my potion. Ooh, just hits five like that. Good for you. Okay, my gear misses, but I do hit five. I'm not too pleased about the gear missing, but well, it's a, I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's it's, it's okay. So he gets a university and a sentry into that shuffle. Uh, so this would be where I think about if I want a mulligan, and I don't think that I do. Um, certainly things are going well for him. Um, but I don't think that this is lost. I don't know. It actually feels pretty bad, but uh, let's save the mulligan, I guess. Uh, I guess just set aside Salvager Estate. Um, yeah, I mean, that seems fine. 
Uh, I don't, I don't get enough to mission or anything. Um, that's unfortunate. So what do I want? I guess I can go for a lurker. I'm pretty far behind with him being able to get that good mission turn. He's got, he's gonna get thinner. Yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, it's not going to be that often that you, yep, that was coming. Yeah, maybe I should have mulliganed here. It's not going to be that often that you can tell that you're worse off. Um, so he could certainly steal this, but uh, I think I have to. Just do it. Um, well, maybe I will trash something that's a little bit less juicy for him. Um, and I need, I still don't have a university yet. This is pretty much over. Also, I can't really mission here because then that means I don't buy the university, although I'm getting that discarded anyway. So maybe I should have. But I mean, I, yeah, he has the, you know, I could pretty much resign this. Yeah, it's, it's usually like a little bit after turn four, isn't it? That you, uh, that it becomes clear that you're losing. Uh, but I mean, I knew that I was a little bit worse off than just being second player here. All right, uh, so what do we have here? Um, looks like a big, 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 big board. Great looking board. Um, really like to hit five early. Um, get some trashing going as well. So definitely opening uh, I guess there's a case for opening Overlord because then the Overlord can do trading post uh, early on. But I mean, you really want that uh, to hit six. Also, that innovation. Um, I will not open Overlord, even though I think Overlord is pretty good here.
Okay, uh, so it could be silver, silver, or silver rat catcher. With the overgrown estate, the rat catcher can actually help hit those price points. Uh, I will try the rat catcher. Okay, I do find it on turn, whatever this turn is. Let's see if I can draw my silver here. Well, I draw a copper. Um, Okay, so he opens Silver Overlord. Um, I think this has got to be a counterfeit. So here I trash the estate and get four. Um, and I really want to hit innovation. So I think a second silver. Um, I don't hit it, but a wharf is perfectly good here. I have a chance to get it next turn. I... What are those eight cards are? Four coppers, one silver, that's five, rat catcher, necropolis, and counterfeit uh, is in there. Okay, he gets another overlord. I'm not sure about all these overlords, actually. But we are out of Mulligan territory, and I think I am ahead. Um, so if I find that, uh, as long as I, okay, so this is enough for the innovation, right? Sweet. Uh, that should put me in a great position. I'll probably kill the necropolis here. And I could think about putting down a troll. Or getting an overlord and putting that down as a troll. Because it's a little bit sad if the wharf is drawn dead. But there's only a two cards out of seven chance of that happening, so let's just do that. And it doesn't happen, so that's pretty great. So if I have enough money, I'd like to get a coin and a troll and put the troll down. Or it could be acting troop. I'm gonna need a bunch of coins at some point. Okay, so he's looking okay. Uh, but doesn't have the counterfeit. Maybe the counterfeit wasn't, no, I mean, you have to thin down so that 
you can play a ton of bridge trolls. He doesn't have innovation. That's something I've got going for me. Oh, cool. I get to put this down. So I get a bunch of stuff here. Um, could put down another wharf. Uh, Those last two cards being coppers uh, just gets them out of the way. Um, That seems okay, and then I'm going to start getting some trolls soon. Certainly a coin. And a troop, I think. He's hitting them big money. Price points. Well, I can keep hitting my ten dollars. Uh, okay, so he gets innovation. He gets to put down a warp here. Okay, get to go ahead and so. I don't find my other wharf or the counterfeit. So that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, and I only get $9. Um, so that means I really need to put down a wharf here, but it's going to draw a. If I do that, it draws a wharf dead. Uh, but maybe that's just fine. Um, and then I don't know. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Uh, I didn't draw, so I had to have my counterfeit next turn at least. Um, I guess I'm gonna need. I'm gonna want to play as many trolls as I can, so I'll get a couple coins. Uh, hopefully, I get at least one. Yeah, that turn could have been. Uh, if that turn was perfect, I'd feel like I was just destroying this game. Now it's a little bit closer. Um, but I've trashed all my shelters, and he hasn't trashed those. I 
I do think that is something. start yeah not finding that wharf was pretty sad okay so this is good um, probably do call this coin here Okay, so um, I played three wars. Um, so how much money is this? Six. Uh, so if I, I probably want to counterfeit a silver here, but let's see what's my price point. So if I do that, that's uh, that's eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, I guess I. Oh, but uh, the thirteen. If I if my first buy is a bridge troll, then I have eight, then I can get two more bridge trolls. Then on my next turn, I'm drawing six. Or I can get bridge troll wharf. Uh, Yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, so don't think we're quite at pile out territory, but we're getting really close. So he has two trolls, and I have four more. So he has two trolls and three wharves. So if he has everything, that's uh, something like seven gains innovation. So that's not time to really pull the trigger yet and the draw is still important oh he has the overlords too um, so I guess that's more like nine gains I think if he's really, I mean, if he's greedy here, then I'm probably going to have a win. Hmm. I was counting my cards in my deck and trying to set up a win, then I would have not taken a wharf there. There was no need for that to be a war, that buy. So 
because I feel like I need it going into the turn after. I could always just innovate one. So that was definitely a little bit inaccurate from me. So I have counterfeit. Um, four, five, six. I have something like nine games. So he's got a score here, I think. If he's gonna lower, he has to score a decent amount, but that scoring has, I mean, I feel pretty good about this, but I have to not fuck up. Right now there's 11 cards, so 12 games for a win. He's got to be even a little short on actions too. He should probably take a troop. So I'm expecting him to lower a tiny bit and score <sighs> Okay I don't think that he can take any bridge trolls or tr coins then unless he, yeah, I think I, okay. I'm pretty sure I can now, I mean, unless he like does province triumph and a bunch of coppers here or something. Uh, I think I can beat that and he should know what my deck is capable of. Okay. Um, I might not be able to. Yeah, so the province triumph. Um, I'm, let's see how many games I actually have.
Uh, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually have ten, um, which means I should be wanting here um, because if I just take eight. Uh, so let's just, I mean, the question is whether I trash a copper with rat catcher. I think I just don't, there's no reason to. Um, I think I will use that coin there. Let's go ahead and counterfeit that. Um, so maybe I can't afford to do this. Um, the bridge troll costs three. And then I put it down. I still have nine buys, and the bridge trolls cost two. So all the bridge trolls costs. How much? Um, sorry. Through. Uh, Three plus six is nine. Uh, so then I would only get to triumph one time. Uh, so I would have. Then there would be I would have nine buys. There would be seven. Uh, cards left in the pile. So. I would have one dollar left. Um, so I would kill all of that. Then I would have two buys, so it would be just a state triumph, and I would have gained uh, 10, 11. Okay, let's see here. So. Um, Ten, eleven points for the triumph plus the two estates would be thirteen. So I think that's like exactly not enough. I guess I could look. Yeah. So it's almost certain that
but I want uh, one more bridge troll. So he had uh, eight, I mean, I think it's safe. So he has, he should have trouble drawing all of that. Um, did he just like leave some points on the table by not taking rat catchers? I think he did. So again, here, uh, the nine, ten, the triumph is worth ten points plus two estate. Yeah, it just doesn't uh, get there. Um, And he doesn't have the money to empty those trolls, I don't think, because um, he's only going to get down. Well, he, I don't know, I mean, he's got to be able to pay off that debt, too. Taking at least a few of these, I know that. Putting that down to four doesn't make it any easier to pile. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was done. That's good news for me, though. Um, I should be drawing so I think I can take a couple stock card next turn should be the last turn so I might as well make those estates um, And then uh, probably double triumph is better than province triumph. But then yeah, double triumph gives me a point lead, right? Uh, so he would need This is really hard. Um, I could do Duchy Triumph here. Um, So I've gained six cards, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That would just tie the score. Um, if I double triumph, then all he's got to do is. Uh, 
it's not by that state. Um, take a couple of silvers. I gotta score a lot. Um, okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, he's drawing pretty well, finding those wharfs. Um, certainly has the gains to win uh, if he has the money. Yeah, he's got it. I don't think there was anything I could do. Well, that one sad turn where I didn't find my wharf, I think, was the difference in the game. So this could be a mulligan if my chapel misses or something. <laughs> Single terminal this might be something money-ish. There's Delve. Yeah, I guess it's, this is kind of money. Which means it's hard to tell by turn four, probably, unless like you're, you get a sombrero. Enchantress here, go for a, a nice thing. Um, that's pretty bad. I will wait a turn. Um, I can I can wait till next turn to Okay. 
Um, this looks, looks kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it looks like double urchin. Gosh, this could be annoying. I don't have a mulligan here. The, this urchin is like serious mulligan territory. Uh, yep. <laughs> that Uh, so I'm probably getting a collision there. Um, gear seems good. So I'm getting a collision. Um, he has to wait. Uh, to see if I got my collision. I, I mean, he doesn't get to wait to see. He has to decide now. He's probably going to do it. I, th I feel like me saying you can say that again might have uh, indicated that I wasn't happy. There's mind games, there's info leaks. <laughs> Um, okay, he cannot mulligan now. Go another messenger fortress for labyrinth points. I don't think I'm too worried about that. I'll just buy a fortress or something. Oh yeah, I got the labyrinth points anyway. Um, it's a mercenary game, so that was silly. This is pretty good. Okay. So I got plenty of good stuff down there. I uh, don't want a messenger. Um, I 
Could get some fool's gold. Maybe those are going to be pretty good. Um, a gear is like the best thing for my deck. I'll just get a gear. Try to take advantage of my draws by being the first one to get clean. Um, don't really want my mercenary to miss the shuffle. Um, it's a little sad. My discard pile is all that stuff. My last card is a probably a copper or an estate. <sighs> this messenger is pretty nice. I still drew a shitty hand anyway. Maybe I should have played the gear. Okay, so we split the labyrinth points. Don't feel likely to find my mercenary here. Probably just set aside an estate. That feels like a good call. Just a fortress here. Um, I probably don't want to play this gear. So Fortress Urchin Merchant Mercenary already gets me the end of the deck. Um, and then I can, you know, let's discard the gear.
Uh, so this is nice. I can go as far as I want, and I've got the messengers. Yeah. That's nice. Definitely discarding that. Um, okay, so another gear. Oh, uh, maybe I should have gone ahead and gotten another mercenary. I can do one later next turn. Uh, two fool's golds seems okay here. Yeah, this is going great. It's just to say it's going badly for my enemy. I'm not sure I'm going to get to... Play both of those, but um, let's just do it like this. Um, uh, I'm gonna trash a gear, I think. Um, I need more fortresses for sure. Maybe I shouldn't have checked the fool's gold because I'm not getting back around. It'd be nice to have if I end up finding both of them. Uh, so this is not enough for both fortresses anyway. Um, stayed out of the shuffle. Probably discard that. Um, I guess get a fortress and a fool's gold. See if I can't. Uh, no, I do get attacked here. So um, well, I've got an estate coming in, which I can trash, and I can trash the fortress. Uh, Piles are low. I'm a little bit closer to getting my deck together, I think. It's good that he can't get the last two fortresses. Um, so I think I'm going to have to trash a fortress here. And this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. Um, three buys. Uh, down there, I've got pretty good cards, but I'm going to get more good cards to put in the shuffle. So let's go ahead and discard. Uh, Twelve dollars. Mm, this could just be province and fortress. That feels pretty safe. Mm. 
Maybe I should have discarded there. I have my gears. Um, I guess I'm discarding this copper. And if I get murked, I guess I'm going to discard this messenger. It's a third mercenary, it's not crazy. Uh, don't get attacked again. Let's see if I can't find some draw and have a nice turn here. He has more gears than I have. That's a, a good thing if you have the terminal space, which looks like he sort of doesn't, actually. But one gear is good for that, right? Uh, so I could trash a messenger here. There's no guarantee that anything good happens if I do that, but... Yeah, I think, it, I think it's fine. I'll find my other messenger. Um, oh, that's interesting, my other mercenary. Uh, I don't really want to kill. Um, all that stuff. Uh, I guess I could kill, I could try to continue this by killing a fool's gold. Um, I, I will do that actually. Um, so let's set aside the fool's gold, right? And the copper, and just buy two gears. It felt like mercenary was going to be really good because of all the fortresses, but it's harder than I thought to uh, keep feeding the mark. We will discard this mercenary and fortress. I have to, but uh, yeah. Maybe what did I set aside the copper? Um, maybe that was a mistake. The trashed copper fortress. Oh well. To do that, I would have had to discard the fool's gold. I don't really want to do that. I want to have money. Getting clean. I should uh, not be so confident.
Oh, he resigned. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, let's update the score. How about that? Uh, the score is one, two. Let's wipe. Okay, so it's the last game. He gets to use his mulligan if he thinks it's not going well. Um, I got a 5-2 here. So what is happening on this board? Uh, familiar. Um, you can sort of do stuff with Diplomat. He thinks this 5-2 is 2-5 is really good for me, then he can go ahead and kill this one. Maybe he just doesn't want to play this board. I probably could be Wharf, but I'll go with the Vampire. Um, might be hitting five again here. Well, the curses are pretty good. Um, I feel fine. Okay. Um, well, fuck, I hope he doesn't get this recruiter open. Looks like Bard Silver or Bard Lookout. Okay, good. Silver is probably the best. Well, for hitting. F so it's a lookout, silver, or save, and probably not even get an herbalist or anything, just save a copper. Silver is okay. Okay, so this is nice. Okay, he goes for the lookout. I think that's fine. Oh, the wisp is good. Here, I don't want a silver. It's either a lookout or 
just save the estate or save a copper. Oh, that is a good boom. Um, the lookout seems good. That is a good, he's doing really good draws here. Oh, that's nice. Great. Uh, this could just be trade. Could be another recruiter. Trade seems okay. So I want to stay. Probably not going to find that recruiter though. Uh, but I will draw on him. Not sure if there's ever going to be a good time to get the herbalist. Maybe it's like when you're in debt and you don't have that much money, but. You think about bureaucrat for some gains, but probably duplicate is just better. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I don't really tend to have a not amazing turn next turn to catch up. So the quarter of it doesn't do it. I think I should be able to hit a copper. Yeah. Well, that works out pretty good. Probably no reason not to save a card. Oh, 
Let's see, quarter. And no, I will not top deck a treasure. So that was a nice turn for me. That's a pretty good boom. Probably gets a duplicate. Gets another bard. I think a duplicate is a little bit better than a bard right now. Okay, he doesn't have that great of a turn. That's exactly what I asked for, for him to not have that great of a turn this turn. Well. Could just kill a copper here. Um. So that's, I don't have any copper in there, so I'm not playing this. And uh, I think I want to duplicate, I don't want to save. I want to be able to afford this duplicate. Okay, so. Uh, I think it is fairly even. I kind of like how I have a duplicate. I feel like I was a tiny bit behind. Now I am back to having about the advantage of it, the fact that I'm a first player. Let's see what kind of booms he gets. Because uh, I should have no trouble drawing here. I may be about ready to kill my lookout. We'll see. Maybe I get a guaranteed copper trash with it this turn. You can think about something like gold herbalist here. Just for another bard. I don't think we've seen the bard boom. Um, what's my last card? Uh, it's my bard, so check that first. Yeah, that was right. Um, two, three, four, so draw four here, let's try that. Uh, so I have a copper down there, so let's trash that, I guess. Um, I guess see what the bard does first. Okay, get an action. Um, so I guess there's nothing special to do here. Don't feel the need for another city quarter right now. Um, I could think about a gold. I could think about a bureaucrat.
probably saving that is good. Increase the chance that I have a good turn. Um, I want to have my duplicate. Um, so I could even get like two golds, and then if I do that, I probably would want a city quarter. Um, I could also get like two duplicates and the lost city or two lost cities and to duplicate. Two duplicates in a city quarter. Try that. Got funky. City quarter should just be better than. Lost city here. There's the buy boom. So this turn I'm probably getting a bunch of golds. Oh, kind of wish the duplicates were like workshops. <laughs> Gain and play a bunch of bards or something. He's only, he doesn't have that much money. Oh, oh, that was with debt. He has five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So even with just like something simple like save, bard, lost city, he's at double province. I had 11 last turn, but that was with a boon, so I really have 10. I can definitely build bigger than double province. I can get three golds. Um, certainly hope for earth gift would be nice to gain and play, uh, barter, duplicate. I like the fact that I have three duplicates. My gut is telling me that they're a little bit better than his bards. Got a nice uh, sort of classic game. Nothing too weird. Nobody getting screwed over, really. Both have a good chance of be slamming those bars. I'll just go ahead and draw here. Um, So what are those cards? Uh, duplicate, City Quarter, and Lost City. Certainly not playing that lookout. Uh, I think it's time to trash the lookout, in fact. Bottom deck of city quarter. That's pretty cool, actually. 
Uh, let's kill the lookout. I may have to draw it for the actions, but. Uh, I would like to get that gold, so let's just I don't think it matters how I do this. Uh, so I certainly want to be able to hit double province. Um, and right now, I that was 13 without, so 3, 6, 12. Yeah, I have $13 in the deck here. I'm going to probably, be, that'll be down to 12 when I lose the, whatchamacallit, um, The, I trashed that copper, um, which is probably happening. Uh, so I could certainly take a couple golds. Um, puts me a little bit at risk to do that. But I can also take a couple of lost cities. I don't think he's going to have trouble drawing. Uh, so what did I just get? Three golds. Um, so let's get two lost cities. The three golds, so nine. I mean, if I didn't trash the copper, so 13 plus nine, is, it puts me at 22. That feels pretty good. I can go double triple. He's got a double. Then if I double, yeah, I think I, I think this is pretty good. This is a little scary. <laughs> Hey, I'll take that boon. So he really should not gain another lost city this turn. Um, it will make me very happy if he does gain one. Hey, I'll take that boon too. And these boons are not helping him very much, so that's good. Uh, that one's good. So just double province is pretty good here for him, considering my likely dud. I may have been a little greedy with the golds. I don't know if there was any reason to do that. Let's go here. Please, please. Um, okay. Still alive. Uh, well, I draw a lot of my money. Um, certainly not where I wanted this turn to be, but uh, I'm still like pretty likely to, if I get province, at, like just province barred, puts me at triple next turn. Uh, 
I will leave the duplicate down. Whew. I sure do have a lot of treasures in my deck. Maybe I just was way too greedy here. That's a nice boom. Yeah, the three golds was probably just ridiculous. Could have been one gold and a bunch of lost cities, and then I'm just cruising. Well, then we're kind of even, I guess. But now I'm behind. I'm okay if I somehow luck into... I mean, I think most of those are action cards down there. Certainly my other city quarter is down there, so if I draw a city quarter, that's still not great. Double province here from him is going to be challenging for me to match. Um, well, I don't think that I can safely double, um, which means I probably Province and three duchies, or four. Oh, I can get four duchies. Let's do it. No, that's. Actually, uh, do I just want to maximize my chance of hitting? Uh, this is fine. I'll just do it like that. Okay. Yeah. So should probably figure out what those cards are. See if I can do better. I have another bard, right, um, that I haven't seen. Yeah, so I have another bard and Just make sure that I didn't see it last turn. Yeah, so there's a bar down there, so I can definitely start with this lost city. <sighs> Let's 
see what he does. It's an interesting board where pile pressure is really not a thing. Saw the copper here. He definitely, he's in a pretty bad spot, to be honest. I think it's hard. So double is just certainly not safe. I can beat that with province double duchy. Um, here, if he takes a province, then I can just win by doubling. Um, and if I draw everything, which I actually might, then I have triple. There wasn't really any chance of me dotting here either. I think that's probably the right play from him, but um, so So we've seen four boons. We saw C, flame, field, and wind. Um, so this is this bard is not drawing me anything. Uh, I'm just like a recruiter. Okay, so I'm. Again, real glad I got all those golds. Um, but also, like, um, pretty good chance to have a good turn down there. I don't think there's any reason you need to do something other than that. Um, and so I've only got the one buy. So, it just has to be double duchy, right? And then, um, So my silk roads are probably going to get 
to be as good as duchies. I'm not sure about gardens. Well, yeah, considering the way this has gone, I think if I was just a little bit less greedy with those golds, I'd probably be winning. So let's hope that doesn't put him at triple. If so, there's not really anything I could have done. Okay, it doesn't. Kills its duplicate. Double is pretty safe, but he may. If he can even double an estate, that should be winning for him. Definitely get the estate. I think if I had a perfect draw, I might be able to win if he doesn't. So now he has to, I mean, there's almost no imaginable way that I don't lose this now. Um, I saw like all that treasure I think I should draw at least one action with this. Uh, okay, I drew two, that's good. Um, so... City quarter here. Gold province and little list. Let's see what happens. So that's an extra gain. I have a duplicate down. So let's see how many gains do I have? I have two buys, two duplicates, and this herbalist, uh, I mean, and this um, gift here. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve does give me enough to get province silk road and then duplicate all the silk roads so I can get province and a bunch of silk roads. Um, how many am I getting? One, two, three, four, five silk roads. That sort of seems like it's enough. Oh, sure. So that was two points. So 29, that's two more. So let's see here at the Silk Roads. Can I duplicate it? And yeah, that does it. Whew, okay.
Well, so we split 2-2. I uh, feel a little lucky to have gotten away with that win, but anyway, thanks for watching.